this thing on. Alright, so, I decided with this YouTube channel, I'm going to uh, make it sort of, not a music review site, but just sort of music discussion. I want to just go through my entire music collection and, uh, you know, do a quick video of each album that I'm into or own, and then uh, talk about it. And this is going to be the first one of those, and I'm going to try and go through my entire record and tape collection and CD collection, you know, alphabetically because they're very organized, and then, you know, discuss certain things about the albums. And this is going to be the first one of those. Um, and this is first in the 10-inch section of my records, even though if you look at how much music is on there, it's really a 7-inch, but with a, you know, cut and shaped uh, picture disc sort of thing, is the King of All the Rotten promotional uh, picture disc for Corrosion and Conformity. This was released in 1995 along with the album Wise Blood, and this is a point where Corrosion and Conformity were still retaining their thrash crossover, you know, their crossover thrash roots, but also releasing albums that were a little, little bit more accessible and getting some radio play. And this one, you know, I bought it at Toxic Ranch a couple years ago. Uh, because I was listening to the album Wise Blood along with some of their other albums, and I really liked that album. And it says this contains music not found on that album, so see there. And it is a picture disc, short, sort of shaped like the pig on the cover of uh, King of All the Rock, or excuse me, Wise Blood. And got that there. And technically, uh, this was a promo that was only sent really to uh, select record stores and radio stations, so I'd really kind of like to know how it ended up in the record store that I later worked at, but my favorite thing about this is I like, okay, I like the song King of All the Rotten, or King of the Rotten, excuse me, and, you know, the alternate take of the song Fuel, not to be com confused with the much more hilarious Metallica song of the same name, but my favorite is uh, this one here. Their cover of I've Heard It Before by Black Flag. And I saw that, and I was like, oh, right, well, done. I've got to get this now. Because, I mean, who doesn't want to hear a crossover thrash version of a really early Black Flag song? And... I mean, the other two songs on this 7-inch, well, I don't know what you call this, on this picture disc are really good, but fuck that, ugh, it's one of the best Black Flag covers I've heard, personally, and that really, to me, is what makes this a uh, worthwhile part of my collection. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Corrosion of Conformity, Wise Blood, promotional picture disc. Good stuff. I think the next video I'm going to do tomorrow, and I'll probably post this tomorrow uh, after I get the next one done, but the next one I'm going to do is also from the 10-inch record section of my collection. I'm going to be talking about uh, Husker Du, specifically Land Speed Record, and the 8 Miles High, and Makes No Sense at All reissue 7-inch, or 10-inch, uh, excuse me. Anyway, tell me what you think of this, if you've heard it, and if you haven't heard it, check it out. Um, Alright, cool. First video.